Hey guys, this video is about mounting encoders on the mini lathe, and that is uh, for use with Centroid CNC 12 software. Previous video, I had this Tamagawa encoder that I, uh, I made a, a little bracket, 3D printed it, 3D printed a gear, and just hooked this thing on to the lathe using some existing holes, and this worked pretty good. But and it's, it actually worked really good, and that's a, that Tamagawa encoder is a really good encoder. But I want it to go with one of these Omron encoders because they are inexpensive, they're easy to find on eBay, and I think that's probably the type of encoder that a lot of people are going to gravitate towards just because of their price and uh, they're, you know, they're easy to find. So I have one. I'm... Uh, Underneath this cover, I have one of those encoders mounted up to this grizzly uh, mini lathe. So let's check that out. Let me get the cover off and we'll, uh, we'll look it all over. Okay, here it is. So the encoder is mounted up with a bracket similar, similar to the other bracket that I used for that Tamagawa. It just bolts on using uh, stock, stock holes. You know, very similar to that uh, forward reverse gear assembly that, you know, used to be there. And it's working pretty good. So let's fire this thing up. Yeah, I like that. So it seems to be pretty accurate. And, you know, right now I'm using gears. I, you know, I think eventually I'm going to, I'm going to make pulleys and use some kind of little O-ring or something as a belt. But, you know, right now I'm using uh, a 3D printed gear because it's just something I can do really quick and easy. But, you know, even though there's a little bit of backlash, it actually works pretty good. So let me MDI. I'm going to MDI a move here just uh a, a move in Z at a really high feed rate. So let me MDI that and I will show you Let's see if I can hit cycle start. Okay, so I'm just moving that gear by hand just through the backlash. You can see we're only the CNC machines only seeing like maybe one tenth or one ten thousandth of an inch. So that backlash isn't really making a big difference. And uh, this is pretty cool. This is, you know, something that, uh, you know, this 100% real time spindle feedback that the, uh, you know, the Centroid software gives you with an encoder. It's like, it's like the, uh, lead screw is like physically tied to the spindle but it's all being done you know electronically so the point of that that little bit of backlash in the gear isn't really hurting anything so i am uh, i'm not afraid to run the gear set up here for a while like i said eventually when i have more time I am going to make pulleys here. You know, I'm going to replace this this little spur gear with a, a pulley, an aluminum pulley, and I'll make an aluminum pulley for that encoder. But right now, the uh, 3D printed parts are going to stay on the machine because I have a whole bunch of other stuff to work on, and I just need to keep the uh, the little grizzly just you know, <laughs> it just needs to function right now because I have to make some parts for it because I have some other projects that I'm going to be working on and I need to focus on them. So I will put the uh, STL files and the Fusion 360 files on a Dropbox location and I will, uh, this little extension, this little cover extension, this design isn't really finished yet. I need to 
I need to work on this a little bit. But I'll put those files on there too eventually if, in case you want those. I like to be able to mount the, the cover, you know, to cover those gears up. Just it's safer and it looks better. Okay, well, thanks for watching. And I hope you have fun mounting encoders on your mini lathe. Uh, it's pretty cool, actually. It's like a whole new dimension here for the mini lathe, having 100% uh, you know, real encoder feedback with the Centroid software. All right. Thanks for watching. Be safe. Take care.